afternoon, people. We are back with another transfer roundup for the mighty Leeds United. Before I get into all, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, get the comments in below, and I'll try to get back to each and every one of you. So, guys, <clears throat> great win at the weekend, by the way. Nice to see Paddy Bamford on the score sheet. Great 3 0 win. Happy days. Chris Meppham, we all know we've been linked with him. He was at Bournemouth, struggling for game time. Sheffield United now have also come in with a move for the player. This one doesn't look like it might get over the line with Premiership interest coming in. Rangers left back, who's been linked with Leeds United, born at Basic. Rangers have now decided to offer the left back a new deal at the club. So that's another one that I think won't be happening now. Another one that we've all heard about, Ben Johnson. He's been linked with a move to Leeds United. He's now attracting interest from Nottingham Forest. Real Betis and Southampton. So, yeah, this would have been nice to get this one over the line, but with the clubs that have come in for him now, I don't see this one happening. But if we do get him, it'd be a brilliant addition to our defence. Another one that's been linked is Callum O'Hare of Coventry, who has scored five goals in 14 championship games. Striker, doing all right. I think personally don't see that one happening here but it's just rumours that are linked potential outgoings at Leeds United Charlie Cresswell continues to be linked with their exit, Millwall and Blackburn are in a permanent move for the centre back Leeds value Cresswell around the £4 million mark Liam Cooper is now looking very likely to leave Leeds United this year, maybe in January as Stoke has still muted interest but indications show that he won't be offered a new deal and he may look to leave the club. I'll probably see Cooper stay until end of the season. And then he will look to get a new club somewhere else. Lewis Sinister is another one. He's increasingly becoming frustrated at the lack of game time being given to him at Bournemouth. He's only made 400 minutes of game time. Leeds are taking the time to see if it is worth recalling Sinister back to Leeds United. That would be um, interesting if he came back whether he'd be given another chance in the squad. For me, all that strengthens, strengthens us for promotion is a bonus. So, yeah, guys, a few bits and pieces floating round. Hopefully, we get a couple of defenders in before end up window. But I think we're going to have a busy last couple of weeks, if I'm honest. Anyway, guys, that's me done for today. Smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you know, get your comments in below. And you can join me, Evie Stu, tonight at 8 o'clock for the match review. And we hope to see you all there, guys. See you later. Peace out.